Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How you doing today? I am uh, working along on my 40 Ford, getting some progress going, and I wanted to have white letter BF Goodrich tires. I showed you how I widened them from that to that, and now I've been sitting here working on them, getting some white letters on there, and I want to show you how Luca C does white letter tires. I'm basically going to use the technique that I have pretty much used since I started building models. My very first model car that I built, what got me in the hobby, and I've talked about this model before, is the Monogram 69 GTO. And you can see that I did my first set of tires, white leather tires, and from then on, I just always enjoyed doing it. It's kind of a, I guess, an is it an antiquated way nowadays in our hobby? Now what we got decals. Well, I don't know of as the time of this filming, I don't know of any BF Goodrich decals, tire decals. And I love using tire decals, but I think we've kind of lost the art of doing hand lettering, especially on tires and on gauges, where we have now so many decals to choose from. And it does look better. You can't say it doesn't, but sometimes you just got to do do it by hand there's there's a part of that in the model building model car model building that i just love i love hand painting stuff so i have my way there's also a lot of people that have come up with uh suggestions that work out really good that have special pens that you get at craft stores like the jelly pens and stuff like that and i've bought those and i just haven't had the success with them that i have with my good old-fashioned technique so i'm just going to show you how i do it so you can see i've got the two rear tires all dialed in and i still have to do my fronts quite honestly i have the second rear tire done because i already shot this video once and when i went to go put it in my computer for some reason it didn't exist that's been happening to me a lot so i need new equipment something's wrong i don't know but hopefully if you're watching this this one managed to make it to my computer so we've got the front tires to do I just want you to take a look at this. This was the first one I did. I don't know if these are going to be the wheels that I'm putting in this. I just put that in because this is just a beautiful Krager, by the way. And I can only find two of these. If I found four, they'd be going on this model. But that is just a beautiful look. I love that look. It was really popular in the 80s. And I, it's still pretty popular today. These 15-inch wheels, BF Goodrich TA radial tires. My favorite thing. I've, I've gone over that before and why I wanted them on this model. So I have also want to show you is since we did that, putting them together, is obviously we've got two of them now. I've dressed them all up. I'm pretty pleased with them. I don't even think I'm going to um, put any flat clear on them. I usually flat clear these because I kind of like the looks of the rubber as it is. It looks pretty pretty uh, real to me after getting the white letters on there. But we got the tread all sanded and we're pretty much done with those. So we're going to move on to these. Now what I use is a this old uh, Model Masters. I love these Model Master brushes. I'm going to miss them. But I use a 3 slash O or just a 3 point whatever however they go about it I use a 3 O brush it's fairly thick but comes to a very narrow narrow tip this is the size I prefer doing this kind of work I don't like them too narrow I need to be able to pick up the paint good and you want your paint mixed really good and you want to keep it kind of thin but you don't want it thinned out I, I this is like straight out of the bottle it's it's thin enough we want to keep a little wipe rag right there a piece of toilet paper whatever you use and we go right on in here and we get our paint on there and you want to stay pretty liquidy and I go at it at an angle now the nice thing is with these tires is they're I love when they're really raised you can see how highly raised they are so it just makes it a little better and less chance of hitting other parts of the tire you don't want to here we go just gonna glide across it very lightly it's another trick you just gotta keep a steady hand but you gotta be very light with it see that? and keep the paint wet you don't want it clumping up or starting to dry it's to me a paint wants to do that I find that to me a paint works better I used to do it with testers flat white 
every once in a while clean off what you got. It starts to get clumpy. I, I like the Tamiya paint better than the testers and pretty much we don't have that choice anymore. You see you just lightly go across and there's our R. In between each letter I like to get fresh paint. Just drag across it. Pretty cool. Wipe off the old. Get some new on there. A little dab off of excess. And it works out really well. Now, it looks like I got a little fuzz on the brush, which is causing a little problem. Got to be real careful about that. Because that will act like a little paintbrush and put spots where you don't want it. But there we go. You see, I got a, a little hair right there. Those things can be such a nightmare for you. Now, this is the letter I was really looking forward to showing you guys. This is a tricky one. It's an I. It's a small letter. So we got very small area to paint. But the real trick is that dot up above. And I've got way too much paint on that. Let's get some off of there. You see that trick is how I'm not going directly down. Too much of a chance to hit the rest of the tire. You keep it light and glide across it. Let's get to that. Little dot and glide across and look at that. Pretty freaking cool. Wipe it off. Get this. We're going to go across the A now. I'm going to keep rolling. I didn't, I, uh, since that's just a, a streak of, of the L, I kept the same paint from the A. And we're, we're moving right along. Now for the TA portion. The T is pretty fat, so that's easy. Go ahead. The slash is delicate, but pretty easy. But you gotta be real careful. Now the A here. I'm gonna get really prepared for this A. Where this A is tricky, it's got such a little hole right there for the center of the A, you know, where you don't want paint. And you can fill that real easy. So you gotta really have light paint and not go nuts like what I just did. But look at that, you keep that area. And I just can't get the corner of the A. But there you go, look at that. Now I wanna show you something, if you happen to just kind of get a little bit off where you're going and you just happen to hit right there let's say we got a little dot of white there hey don't fret especially with this Tamiya it used to be tougher with testers because tester just grabbed into it really good you take a an exacto blade with a nice sharp tip you just get on there with the exacto blade and you can scrape off really easy Especially the longer you wait for it, too. That was still kind of fresh where it just smears, but after it's kind of set up a little bit, you can just get that scraped off. And, you know, if you get any in between, I don't really have any spots, like over by the T, I think there's something. Just get out there, just kind of knock it off there. That just came off, if you could even see, it was so small. <clears throat> that cleans up really nice, and there you've got your radial TAs. But just to see a finished tire, that's it. That's all there is to it. It's really simple. It's fun. So that's pretty much it. I really love Tamiya paints. This is not their, um, this is their old uh, acrylic paints. This is not the new LP paints. So this is XF2 Flat White. Does a beautiful job. If you want to seal it in, you can. Shoot, I still might. I, I will probably seal it a little bit with this uh, TS80 Flat Clear. And, you know, it will just look beautiful so pop that wheel back in just to take a quick look heck man let's see what it'll look like in the fender that's hot rod that is muscle car hot rod street rod all the way kind of an 80s 80s flavor 
but uh, I just love that look. So there you go. That's how I do my white letter tires. Really, just take your time, practice. If you got a bunch of tires you can practice on. So I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful holiday with your family. Christmas was fantastic here at the Lucas C House. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. You're learning well, young Padawan. You're very good at this. I see a great future with you. You don't turn it off in the middle of a fight. <laughs> we had a really good time. I hope you guys had a great time. New Year's is coming up. We hope to get a couple more videos out to tap, cap off this season of uh, all the shows here. And starting the next year, we are going to start doing more Lucas kits, Lucas builds, Lucas unbuilds, and whatever the heck, this old model car, all the shows we've been bringing to you there's some of them we really haven't done a lot this past year we've done a lot of model car hobby headquarters which is our main show this one where we show tips and things and new you know, offerings and everything but uh we're going to try to hit onto those other shows because i know there's a whole bunch of you that really miss that lucas kits theme it still rings in my head you know it's lucas kits it's, so i got to do some more of those i haven't in a while and I've gotten some requests, people seeing in my collection in the background, hey, would you do that car? Would you do that car? So we're going to be showing some more of those at the first of the year. But I want you guys to have a safe, safe last week of 2021. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Thank you so much for your support of this channel. We will be seeing you guys around. And remember what we say here. Go build model cars. Why? Why? Uh, what do you think? Why? Because they're fun! Here's the producers!